it overall? Uh, it was really good. I would say on our side of the field, the defensive side, the offensive scout teams did really well. Um, the O-linemen are coming at, at us as hard as they could, so it's they're giving us good luck. Did they get the better view in any uh, couple of snaps? A couple of times, yeah. I'll, I'll give it to him. Yeah, uh, Des Holmes is actually a really good offensive lineman. He does he does really well. Um, he, he shows a lot of what, what's going to happen in the game. He's really quick and strong, so I'm glad I'm going against him. Ryan, you were seeing that as a uh, top performer on defense. Who would you like to single out as far as who did exceptional alongside him? Who do you think really played well with you? Um, I would say as a group, the D tackles. Uh, nothing just ends, but the D tackles were pushing the center and guards back to the quarterback all the time. Um, they were getting pressure. Like on my sack, I give all the credit to um, the D tackles in that play because they pushed them my way. So D tackles had a really good game. Ryan, I think with your size, it's easy to compare you to Ryan Nash and just you know, the, the stats on that. Who do you mold your game after? Who do you look at as someone who you can? Um, I, I kind of do guys on our team right now. Uh, like just some older guys like Shreve and Torrance, I try and use their like Shreve speed and stuff. And when I go inside, I try and work with uh, Kevin Gibbons a lot because he's a really good pass rusher. So I kind of focus on guys with our team. I work with them a lot on uh, on some moves and games we do together. So it's mostly just current players. Can you talk about the job Etor's done coming in as a true freshman? It has to be kind of a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's done a really good job. Um, it's a lot. I would say it's more mental than phys uh, physical, but he's done. He's done as good as he can, pretty much, as a true freshman. Uh, he's got the physical characteristics, obviously. He's, he's huge. Reminds me a lot of Carl Nassim, so um, he's, he's starting to get everything down and put it all together. When the game gets out of hand like it was, and he's the guy who clearly wants to get his first opportunity, is he, uh, is he on the sideline chomping at the bit, helmet on, standing on the sideline? What, what's he like trying to get him to uh, it? Was funny. It was his first play. Um, before we went in, Coach Spencer was saying, if like this happens, you're going to go in. And I was on the sideline with him, and I was going to go in with him. So I just kind of grabbed him by the neck, and I was like, just come in with me, like just follow me. I'll tell you what to do and everything. So I think he was a little nervous. So I just want to make sure that um, everything was going to be fine. I said, if you don't know what's going on, just talk to me on the field. So I was just kind of trying to be there to help him and make it less nervous for him. It seems that the speed sweeps a lot, especially last year. What are some of the challenges for you guys to try and make sure that they you know, don't rip up the big line speed sweeps? Yeah, um, they got us on a couple times last year. But later games like Michigan, I know Torrance had a big stop on the sweep, and uh, Maryland ran a couple of times. I think we emphasized it more after the pick game because it kind of showed a weakness in our defense. And the weeks after that, we stopped it pretty well. So I think I think we'll be fine. What did you weigh when you got here, and what do you weigh now? Um, probably about 240 when I got here. Uh, last year was actually my heaviest. I think it was like 282 for the Rose Bowl, but I'm like 275 now. And how do you go about putting on that weight? And how do you determine whether you want to be 282 or 270, whatever it is? Um, that's just kind of how it works. Uh, I'm really hungry most days throughout the whole day. So <laughs> uh, if I have enough time and food to eat, then I'll probably be pretty heavy that day. But if not, then, I mean, they want, since I'm more emphasized to stay at the end uh, this season, they kind of want me to be a little lighter. But last year, since I kind of split time at both, it didn't really matter. Ryan, Ryan what's your favorite pass rushing move? Like, what, what's your signature that you like to go to? Uh, speed rush usually. Uh, I just come off high and then I usually do uh, long arm or something like that just because I have a lot of uh, power. I like to use that with my weight. It helps a lot. What is the challenge for you coming back all off season and trying to get ready? How do you kind of go about doing that knowing that you're ready for that? Um, yeah. I guess it was good last year uh, getting a little bit of time and knowing the speed of the game. So when we would work out here in the summer and stuff, we would kind of work on moves that we saw in the game and stuff like that. And, um, kind of worked on what we would see this year. So we weren't really like blind. Uh, like me and Chuck would work on a lot of stuff just because I had some game time and he redshirted. So I'm, it was more of uh, knowledge that we were passing down to get us ready. Brian, what's the key to good defense for you in an era where people are scoring a lot of points? Uh, I would say communication. Uh, Coach Pry kind of emphasizes that. And I mean, if, if something happens, if the like Pitt does, they, they uh, trade their tight ends a lot. If we don't communicate that, then something could go wrong. So I think communication is key. Cam Carter was the guy who came in with you guys, and obviously he's at Pitt now. Kevin Condon came at all? Or he... uh, no, oh, I know a couple guys have, like Rob Windsor and uh, some D tackles, but I haven't. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for him. He's at Pitt, though. It's, it's awesome.
Brian, with the defense put, coming away with the shutout, what did you guys take away and what do you learn to try to maybe add to your performance this week? Um, I would say just the way the whole defense played, uh, from the D-backs to the D-line, we all came off the ball fast, uh, made plays a bunch of times, play would go the other way, and I'd see Cam Brown or Mandy chase it down and make a big TFL, so the whole defense as a group was running to the ball and making plays. After the game started, Jarvis talked about the importance of putting an extra work in the offseason when nobody's looking. How much does that become a team mentality when you see so many teammates put in after the uh, I mean, a lot, especially because uh, the coaches can't really work with us. It's against NCAA violations, so we're kind of on our own. So when we're out here, it's kind of on us to do that. So we kind of take a we, we take that to heart and we work really hard. And that's a tribute to Jason and the older guys. They make us do that, so it's, it's good. Brian, what's up at time? What do you see now? Um, I know they lost two of their older veteran guys, but they're still a good group. Um, they're definitely really physical, really strong. Um, I'm just glad that, like I said before, the scout team line kind of they show a similar look because these guys are really physical. They come off the bar, come off the ball. They want to pancake you every play, so it's it's good that we're getting that look. Two more for Ryan. Ryan, you and uh, members of your team, member of the team, cross paths a lot of high school players on the same team, going up against our same captains, camps, recruiting visits. Do you have relationships with anybody on the Panthers, and do you get the sense that a lot of your teammates have those kind of long-term relationships with guys that they're going to be going up against this week? Yeah, I just have one personally, uh, Jay Stocker. He's a safety for them. He's from my area, but I know a lot of guys like Troy Abke and John Patricia and all those Pittsburgh guys have 10, 20 people on that team that they know. So I know this is a it's a it's a game where they have a lot of friends on the other on the other team. What do you remember about Stocker? I think he's coach football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, I never, I never played him personally, but I just saw him at camps and stuff. Um, I played basketball a lot at their, at their gym. I saw him a lot. And, uh, coach Ortega comes up here a lot. He's their football coach, so I know them pretty well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.